everybody, here we are today. We're going to do a quick video of clipping your dog. If you've ever thought about having a go yourself, if you may have already bought a clippers but you haven't had the courage to go for it yet, then hopefully this will be helpful to you. This is Mavis and she is due a little trim. I don't keep her really short, so she has more of a puppy trim. So you've got about this much length left for fluffiness. So, but I can still run through. I think she had a trim about six or seven weeks ago. So I'll just show you quickly some different clippers. Um, they're varying in prices. Um, so you can get the smaller ones, which are slightly cheaper than than the the corded ones and the battery ones. So the Andis is a really good one. It's a nice quiet clipper but you'd probably be looking at about £200, maybe a bit less. The smaller ones, the pet ones, they come I think probably upwards from 25 maybe. I'm not sure exactly. That one is a little bit more expensive. Um, if The best way would be to, to use comb attachments this one comes with its own set of comb attachments and the blue ones fit my, my new clipper. So today I'm using, for Mavis, Mavis is going to have about a quarter of an inch trim. So it, I'm using a 30 blade, an Andis 30 blade, which is a really, really short 5mm blade, which I would never use on the coat directly because it's way too short but I always use it with an attachment so Mevis's attachment is this one which is a quarter inch you can see if you bought a pack you can see the difference in so obviously the longer one cuts the hair leaves the hair longer the shorter one a little bit shorter this is a nice size for the cockapoos Cabochons, so that just clips on there because it leaves a nice bit of fluffiness. Okay, so we're going to start. If you come round here, we're going to start, Mavis. I'm going to start with the main body because um, I keep her head quite fluffy. I do go over it a little bit with the clippers. Welsh Terriers do have, they can have a really short. 7F all over, which would be similar to what a Schnauzer would have, um, Cocker Spaniel, which is short and smooth, so a lot of them do have that. But as I say, Mevis is, um, are you tired, Mevis? Mevis is kept in a puppy trim. So, here we go. We're starting at the neck. Oh, I forgot to say, it's really important that you don't have any knots when you're going to do this. So the coat needs, Mavis has already been brushed through, the coat needs to be really knot free if you want to leave it, the coat at this length. If you do want it sort of shaved down really short and shiny like a short haired dog, obviously it's better not to have knots all of the time, but if you if you can't get all the knots out then a 7F7 blade would would take it down really short. Okay. So it's just starting. You go in line with the coat growth. So she has it just to there. So you it's a bit like brushing. Just do it nice and gently, nice and lightly, and you can see the hairs cutting off. When you have an attachment, it's helpful because you you can only go so short. So where I've cut now, you've got a nice lot of fluffiness left. So with the attachment, you haven't got the fear of it suddenly shaving it bald. So we're just going down. Following the the way the hair grows. It's 
definitely helpful to put your dog on something so they're higher. Much, much easier on your back. So Mevis doesn't have a, a skirt left down here, so just going round again. With the Welsh Terrier, she has it trimmed and clipped where it's black, so I'm doing following the black line. And then I scissor her legs. So just to there. You could do the same style on a cabochon, or you could go over the legs all together. Cockapoos, you could either go over their legs, depending how short you wanted it to go on the legs, or you could sit with the legs. Best way of doing it is to do um, bath bath them before you clip them so their coat's really clean because there's a danger of if you use a new blade on a really dirty coat then the, the blade could especially on a cheaper clipper you might have one blade and the blade will blunt and then you you can't use the clipper so it's best to have a, a nice clean coat You could maybe bath them and go over it again when it's clean, but it's best, I would say, if you haven't done it before at home yourself, I'd say bath the dog the day before. Mevis had a bath yesterday. Um, if you bath them the day before or two days before, just so the coat's pretty clean, because, as I say, if you, if you get, once your blade is blunt, you, you've had it really, then you've got to buy... You, depending on which clipper you, you've bought, you might need to buy a whole new clipper. So that's one side done. So we'll just go and then just get this off the table. So there's not a lot coming off notes today. Depending on when your dog last had a haircut, it could be that much coming off. You might want a blade that's really short and just take it really down, but that's that does take a bit more skill really you need to be careful with with a blade going right on with the comb attachments it's quite safe to sort of give it a go it is quite a messy job so it's good to wear maybe a plastic apron or this isn't the best top for but something that's that the hair will then um, just fall off You just start at the back of the neck and follow the growth of the hair. If your dog's used to coming to me or going to a groomer from a young age, there shouldn't be a problem with, with the dog being scared of the clipper noise. They should have had plenty of time to get used to it all. So that would make your job a lot easier. So I'm just going to do a little bit down the front of her neck, but she doesn't have a lot taken off there, just to her breastbone there. So just to the top of her, just here, would be the where to stop on her. But I say, if you've got a cockapoo, a cabochon, a shih tzu, a shih tzu cross, fluffy, fluffy bundles, you can, if they, if they don't mind, you can clip right over the legs. Or it might just be best to do the main body and leave the legs.
a little bit fluffier anyway because that does look nice so that's about it on the clipper work for now i'll just show you quickly if um if any of you want to try some scissoring it is probably a little bit more scary if you're not used to this scissoring On the legs, I'll just be. I think the legs are pretty fluffy, so just be tipping the ends really. And the feet, I could just show you going round, round the feet. So if you sort of point the, the scissors downwards like that, and just trim. Then you can you can rest the scissors on. The hard surface and just do it really lightly but all of this I'll be scissoring later on to tidy it all so yeah I think that's that's um that's about it for now I hope that was helpful any questions from any customers who viewed um just, just ask and I'll, I'll try and help you out. Okay, thank you. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.